The campaigns are pulling out all the stops as the finish line comes into view. Already more than a half million Iowans have cast their ballots. But as KCCI's Bo Bowman tells us, there is a push to get even more Iowans to vote before November 3rd. Even though a ton of work has already been put into this election, Jasper County officials say they're trying to squeeze out every last vote they can with only two weeks to go. The Iowa Democratic Party drove their early voting express bus into Newton Tuesday. Jasper County was a pivot county in 2016. After voting for Barack Obama twice, it turned red and voted for Donald Trump last election cycle. We are energized to make sure everyone can get out, vote for Biden. Michelle Smith with the Jasper County Democrats says early and absentee voting is essential this year to keep crowds at the polls on Election Day small and safe in the middle of a pandemic. The Democrats have had to adjust their campaigning style. Many of their fundraisers have turned into to-go dinners like the Harkin Steak Fry. Most importantly, Smith wants people to make sure they know how they're going to vote if they haven't already. Make sure you're registered, you have a plan, and what is your plan and implement it. People are very excited to um, get out and vote for the president. Thad Niermeyer, chair of the Jasper County Republican Party, says they're sticking to more traditional styles like cold calling. I wanted to know if you had received your absentee ballot. And door knocking, which is why he expects the county to stay red on November 3rd. Niermeyer says the party has brought in guest speakers like Lara Trump and Terry Branstad to get people fired up to vote. I feel like if they're not fired up by now, they probably aren't going to be. In Newton, Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Voting in this year's general election has been underway in Iowa since October 5th. Now, here are some deadlines that you need to keep in mind to vote early or in person. If you still want an absentee ballot sent to your home or if you'd like to pre-register to vote, you must have your request to your county auditor's office by this Saturday. But if you miss that deadline, you can still cast an absentee ballot in person at your auditor's office until Monday, November 2nd. Eligible voters can register to vote at their polling place on Election Day.